If you have everything set up correctly, the EZ fields from your simulation should look like this at the end of the simulation. There are some interesting things going on here to the left of the source. We'll talk about that next time. For now, just look at the wave propagating to the right of the source. Notice that the propagating pulse looks just like our source wave time waveform. And this is what we want because in air, all of the frequency components should be propagating at the same speed, at C meters per second, in the grid. So the amplitude and the shape of the pulse should not change as the pulse propagates across the grid.